Hello everyone from Tony the Scar Girls. Today I'm going to test with you the new 6DF video technology by Google that has released one month ago a paper about recording, encoding, decoding uh, 6DF videos, so videos you can move in. So let me try it with you and uh, let me give you my first impression on it. Okay, so now let me try this sample. I tried it, so when I turn the circle, I can see the um, I can see the uh, rules to play it. So to the center air, to spacebar, next left field, right and left arrow. Okay, so it seems a bit like the welcome to light field video. I can also recenter. So let me maybe recenter here so it's better for the video. So let's play it and see how it is. So here there is the video of a guy waving. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice that I can move like it's like one meter per one meter maybe. In this direction is yeah, and it's impressive. This is a video and I can move. So this is very weird. I wasn't expecting it, but. It's not good that the space in which I can move is very, very little. And also the dimension of this application was pretty big. But it's a video and I can move in, so that's, that's nice. So let's try another one. So always the same guy in the same environment. Um, uh, you know, short videos, a uh, little space to move in, but it's a six short video, wow. So, uh, the same guy? <laughs> I thought it was something more, I hope it was something more, but... Okay. So here in this... Okay, so I can go behind the load, actually. So I was in the wrong position. Okay, it works. Okay, another environment finally, so not the same guy anymore. Flames. Um, I can move. Okay, let's try something else. Lake. So the resolution looks a bit complex because this algorithm is more about compression. So I can clearly see that there are some compression artifacts like on the water. But clearly evident is like if I have some noise, so imagine the noise when you play like low compressed videos, but in 3D. <laughs> it's a very weird sensation. It's like I have some noise just above the water. It's it's crazy. But yeah, it, technology is impressive anyway. Also there in the mountains. It's it's like that with the noise. So next one, some good. <laughs> oh wow. So they're so cute. And again, what is impressive is that it's a video. So not that just a 3D video, but I can also move a bit in. So that imposes a lot the, the sense of immersion. But the problem is that the area is so little that I really can't exploit it. <laughs> this dog is so nice. Oh my god. A little horse? Hey. Even here I can feel some noise in the blacks here next to the to the head. So there is clear some compression artifacts, like in the videos, but it's cool. So something else? A nice girl that is painting. And I would love to see what she's painting, but I can't. So, it's a bit disappointing, next one, so let me, I think you got the idea. I can spot a little discrepancy there in the face while she's painting, it's not perfect from this point of view. Okay, next one. Another painting, next one, 
Okay, so just a kid dog in the sea. So now I'm just making them very fast because I think you got the idea. Also, it's only one hundred and eighty. So nothing more. Next. Oh, that's so relaxing, but also very blurry there in the distance. But it's, I love the sea and the sun, and, you know, it's perfect. Oh, there are so many videos actually, but little videos, but there are a lot. So, this natural landscape. And again, the first guy. So, I guess we've seen them all. So, let me know. Summarize to you my impressions about this six year videos by Google. So what are my first impressions it? Well, first of all, it's cool that you are in a video, an immersive video, and you can move in. So that's incredible. It's something that I never tried before and it gives you a new kind of immersion in immersive videos. And so this is something I really liked a lot. Also, from a technological standpoint, I guess it's super hard to make compression of this kind of 6 year videos. They usually take a lot of space. So, it's technology that is really cool, and I say that my compliments to Google. On the other side, there are also the beginning of this technology. So, there are lots of issues, like I can move my head just like 80 centimeters, and so for every movement, it's just everything becomes black so it's not usable especially because when I there is something in the scene I want to get close for instance uh, the ghost the horse and as soon as I move it becomes black so it's not that usable in that sense also there are compression artifacts and it's cool that there are 3d compression artifacts and uh, also the resolution is still a bit blurry so especially objects in the background appear that are blurry and are not of high quality and also the videos were only 180. I guess it's only something that Google has decided to do it that way. So 360 shouldn't be a problem, I guess. So it's cool, but still the beginning of a technology. So don't expect to be amazing. Anyway, in any case, I suggest you to have a look at them. So if you want to watch these immersive videos, go to the link that I provide in the description and try them by yourself. Let me know your impression in the comments. At the same time, like this video and subscribe to my channel to let me continue to do this VR stuff. So have a nice day and bye bye.